He is unknown fog. And why? He is the most unknown person in the gaming world. Now introducing Dragon Recon. What's going on people? Dragon Recon here, the most unknown person in the gaming world. And it's time for another super exciting edition of Talk and Play. Yes, Talk and Play number three is here, and I got an interesting little topic today. I guess you can call it more of a question than a topic, but it's a topic nonetheless, and the topic is using an Xbox 360 controller. Is it a viable way to play an MMO game? So for me at least, I have not tried this. I have not tried using a controller to play an MMO game. I strictly use the mouse and keyboard. But, you know, I'm a console guy at heart. So if I could use my 360 controller to play, you know, Star Wars The Old Republic when it comes out, that is going to make me want to play this game so much more. But I'm just curious, what do you guys think? I think it is a viable way to play the game, just from the research I've done, just from reading uh, you know, people's opinions on it, there are mixed feelings, more people lean towards the mouse and keyboard, and you know, rightfully so, that is the way the game was made to play, you know, that's how the developers designed it, but you know, if I could play an MMO game, just solo gr grinding, you know, uh, level grinding, whatever, questing, you know, doing things by myself and play it like a single player game a little bit, you know, when nobody's online or whatever, that'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. You just sit back, relax, and play the game. But if you're like PvPing or something, any type of player versus player, uh, I just don't see it. I really don't. I want to be proved wrong though because I would like to use the controller exclusively as much as I can. But just from things that I've seen, things that I've read, it just does not look like that would be possible. Reason being is, the number one problem I see with the controller, and tell me if I'm wrong, but targeting individual enemies. Let's say you're a PvP and you wanted to target a healer, you know. A lot of times you want to target the healer or, you know, the squishiest target out there. So, you would have to cycle through the enemies, kind of tab target through them with the controller because your, your joysticks would be for movement and camera. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, but that seems like the biggest problem with using a controller. Especially as far as the PvP goes. I don't see how people could PvP. Because you have to be so spot on, so quick with your targeting and everything, and it just seems like it really gimp your, uh, your ability to play the game. Another thing I see wrong with the controller is just accessing the menus, going through your inventory and whatnot, you know, selecting different items and, you know, uh, your uh, character screen, equipping different things if you need to. I just don't see that working well with the controller. I mean, I'm sure it's possible, but it, I think it'd be really clunky and not that good. Again, tell me if I'm wrong because I want to be proved wrong because I would love to use the controller as much as I can. Um, and another thing is, man, there's just so many button combinations you're going to have to map to the controller and that could get tricky. But that doesn't really bother me because there's so many key bindings on the keyboard as well to remember. I think once anybody plays for long enough, with any game, they'll get used to the controls. It's just a matter of time. But uh, to make it easier on myself, I was looking for programs to map the uh, controller or map the keyboard to the controller. So 
I ran into this program. I'm sure there are other programs or whatever, but I ran into this program and I like it. It's called Pinnacle Game Profiler. And it allows you to map any key on the keyboard to the controller, which is pretty damn awesome. Pretty damn awesome. And for example, you can map like the number one key to the A button. And you know how you have your shift, your control, and your alt keys as alternate functions for a button? Well, you could do that too. You could set up like right trigger, left trigger, and right bumper on your 360 controller to do that. So you'd have, you know, four different functions for the A button. You'd have the A button, right trigger A button, left trigger A button, right bumper A button. Confusing, but each button would have four different functions, which would allow you to map many, many skills to each button on the controller, which would allow you to pretty much have all your skills on your controller pretty easily, I think. Especially with the D-pad there and everything. I see it working out very very well so like I said key bindings don't really bother me it's just those two things the targeting and the accessing of inventory and everything it just really bothers me and if I could find a way around that it'd be pretty damn awesome and you know I can't wait to play this game I played the beta and you know it, it really impressed me because you know, when you're doing the quest in the game, you feel really involved with the story. Not like how World of Warcraft or other MMOs do it, where you're just clicking through the quest. You're like, blah, 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 go get me 10 boxes of whatever. and Or go kill like 10 of these guys and come back. And you're just trying to do as quick as you can and you don't give a shit. This game, you're, like, you're really thinking about what you're doing sometimes because it affects how the story would play out like how the uh, NPCs will react to you and everything it's a lot of fun I mean it does control kinda similar to World of Warcraft I mean I hate to compare this game to World of Warcraft because it's really not it really doesn't really remind me of World of Warcraft how it plays because there's cover system in the game there's, you know, guns in the game, you know, it's lightsabers and everything. It just doesn't play like World of Warcraft. If you're looking for reasons to compare it to World of Warcraft, I mean, so be it, but it's just not, it's just not even close. You know, it's a, it's its own game, and, you know, that's that. <laughs> but I have been playing some other games recently, and... Let me tell you, if you have not played Skyrim yet, you need to go and buy this game. I have not played it in a little bit. I kind of burned myself out. I played like 90 hours in like, I don't know how many days, but I played a lot of damn Skyrim. But the game is amazing. The game is probably one of the best games I've played in a long, long time. And it might even be one of the best RPGs ever. Period. If you have not played this game, I don't care if you hate RPGs. This game is just a game that gamers should appreciate and should at least give a shot. At least rent the game. At least rent the game. Because the game is, is phenomenal. And I've been playing a lot of Battlefield 3 lately. As you can see from the gameplay, I just kind of mesh some kills together and whatnot. Try to keep it exciting in the video. <laughs> but Battlefield 3 is still going strong. It's, it's a lot of fun. Well, that's about it for this video, folks. I hope you all enjoyed me babbling on about you know 360 controllers in an MMO game and I hope you all enjoyed me shotgunning the shit out of people towards the end of that video because that was a ton of fun <laughs> little channel update though and I just want to let people know I'm not gonna be reviewing Skyrim reason being is it would just be far too long to do it justice it'd be like a four part hour long extravaganza or something I don't know but my review in short for that is just play the game. It's one of the best games, you know, out there as far as any game goes. And 
you know, you owe it to yourself to play it. That's really all I want to say about that game. And for Battlefield 3, same thing. I'm not going to make a review for it. It's one of the best first-person shooters out there. If you love first-person shooters, you love online shooters, just play that game and you'll be very happy with it. So I'll see you all next time on Talk and Play episode number four, possibly another video. But that's it for today. Later.